I'm Claudia Skill from Colorway Arts, a cartoonage teacher, and today I want to share with you one important like upgrade I made in one of my uh, important tools. Okay, so when we are doing fabric boxes or fabric albums, fabric covers, we always need, you know, to fold the fabric over making, you know, uh, great finishing for our projects. So when we do that, we have too much fabric on the corners, right? So one of the solutions is using the corner miter tool. So this is the tool I have been selling so far and using in all my classes. It's pretty super functional. I have, you know, sold a lot of them, great reviews people are using and liking. And right now I had to make a new, you know, uh, a new lot, you know, and then I decided to upgrade a little bit. So now this is the new tool, it's just a little wider than the other one. They work exactly the same. The most important thing is here, is this angle right here on the top, okay? This is the most important and it is exactly the same. What is different now is as the, the sides are a little wider, okay? So I have a little bit more of space right here to uh, use or to touch with my rotary cutter, okay? So what it means that you can use a little um, wider paper or uh, paper or fabric, okay, covering your piece. And it's gonna be a little bit more comfortable maybe, okay? So let me show you here. So for us in cartonage, we normally use half an inch on the sides. Okay, so that's why my tool is half an inch on the side. So I put right there, okay, and then I just go with my rotary cutter, okay, and I cut this. So this is what I use for, okay, this uh, cutter. But let's say I have more fabric or more um, paper on the sides. I can use like three fourths or one inch. I have seen people using like kind of one inch. Uh, for me, and I don't recommend for my students, we don't need, we don't really measure, we just go, you know, and uh, eyeball and cut around half an inch, sometimes a little bit more. But if I cut much more like this, then my tool is away far from my, the edge of the paper or the fabric. So that's why I just decided to do, okay, a little wider so I can put right there on the corner and it will fit if you have more it fused to you do like three-fourths or almost one inch now the wide uh, this is three-fourths wide so okay when you go there you may feel more comfortable uh, I had a few of my students using they like because they it's kind of wide so you can maybe uh, hold better okay it's kind of more good comfortable there so i'm just saying that this is the new tool upgrade okay the price is kind of almost the same is like only 50 cents more so uh, if you have this and if you like that's okay you don't need to use the other one if you're buying for now okay just let you know you will receive a little bigger one okay that's gonna be from now and then well, that's another way some people like to do. So for example, we are using this one, but if you are like, if you are not happy that your fabric is bigger than this, then you can use a ruler like this. My ruler here is half an inch. You can just trim before, right now, okay? So if you trim before, then you put there, you're gonna have the same position, the same thing. Or, you know, your tool is all over your fabric. Okay, so that's what I mean. Okay, so I hope you like this upgrade. And uh, if, you, if you are using this tool and if you like, please share with your friends. It's a great, great, great idea, you know, that to uh, help us to facilitate our, you know, work of covering pieces of paper with paper or fabric uh, with a great finishing, okay? 
Thank you so much. If you want more information about the tools or cardonage, take a look at my website, colorwayarts.com and keep in touch. See you. Thank you.